More than half a million children in the US alone have unhealthy levels of it in their blood. It's lead, and here's how to survive lead poisoning. Today's topic was requested by the following subscribers. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, be sure to subscribe and write your suggestions in the comment section below. Lead poisoning occurs when people inhale or ingest an unhealthy amount of lead. Being exposed for a long time can cause serious health problems and even death. Once it gets into your bloodstream, it's stored in your organs, teeth, bones, and tissue. Children are the most vulnerable to poisoning since they oftentimes put small objects and toys into their mouths, allowing lead to build up in their system. In addition, the developmental and growing conditions of their bodies make them absorb lead at a faster rate than adults. In the past, it was common to find lead in both gasoline and household paint. Nowadays, it can be traced in old buildings as well as in toys and household objects manufactured before 1976. Exposure occurs when paint dust from any lead-affected object enters the air and is inhaled by those surrounding it. Lead contamination can also occur through your drinking water if the water pipes that transport your water contain any form of lead. Even though products and materials today are being manufactured without any lead content, those working around high lead levels can expose and affect other people around them with whom they come into contact. Poisoning affects your health over the course of months and even years, depending on the amount of exposure. Symptoms include abdominal pain and cramps, constipation, headaches, high blood pressure, memory loss, anemia, kidney dysfunction, and permanent damage to the central nervous system. For children, lead poisoning can have even more permanent effects that lead to behavioral problems such as low IQ, hearing problems, persistent vomiting, convulsions, and coma. The best way to prevent lead poisoning is to reduce and avoid exposure at any time. If you suspect your house paint of containing lead, call professionals to have tests performed and remove any traces if necessary. Water pipes should also be checked to prevent contamination of your water. Those who've been poisoned must undergo chelation therapy along with treatment that includes the use of various drugs to help remove the lead from your body as fast as possible, as it can take years to get it out of your system. Now what do you think is worse and why? being stung by an assassin caterpillar or being bit by a camel spider. 